Vincent Abril, a really strong start at Nagaro, but a small accident spoiled that in the qualifying race. Coming here with the, the huge Bentley, it looks huge anyhow, to Brands Hatch, how optimistic are you that you're going to have a good weekend? Of course, you raced here last year, but in a very different car, in an Audi. Yeah, it's a, definitely a different situation than last year. Um, obviously, this year I'm in, a, in the championship winning team with the, what we could say the winning package. So um, I'm looking forward to that one. Uh, I think Nogaro was probably our, not our worst, but one of the worst circuits of the year for us. Um, and we still managed to perform very decently well. Um, qualifying was good in Nogaro. Uh, what happened in the race is, of course, you know, it's not in our hands, but um, we still managed to score some important points, so that's, uh, that was a high. And um, yeah, uh, this track should suit the Bentley very well. And um, yeah, we're looking forward to it, really. Now, talking of this track, a historic track, quite an old-fashioned track, but looking at its layout, Qualifying looks incredibly important here. You really need a good grid position. Definitely, it's, I think it's the key of the weekend is going to be qualifying. Um, if we manage to get ourselves into the top two first rows, um, even the front row would be really good because um, overtaking is a bit difficult. It's a very high speed track with a lot of flow and rhythm that you, know, you can't do a lot of side by side. And it's, uh, yeah, it's going to be, I think the most important part of the weekend is going to be qualifying and get some decent starts. You know, uh, last year I could see that um, the starts was uh, always uh, more tend to be on the inside line and uh, I could actually gain some position in the outside, but it's very risky. So you have to, uh, yeah, you have to be very careful with that and maximize qualifying for sure.